Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a review of the Pen BBS 308 in the Mandus Mandusaka finish, uh, which is an acrylic, red, clear, colourless acrylic. Really, really interesting um, uh, material from Pen BBS. Which, to be honest, I don't know whether it's an older material that I haven't seen, but you know, it's it's not a new Pen BBS acrylic. It's certainly something which um, which uh, doesn't appear to be that widely available, and it's not one that I've heard of before. So anyway, Pen BBS three zero eight in the Manjusaka finish with a fine nib. So those of you who have subscribed to my channel already. Going back a couple of years, you will have noticed that one of my favourite pens of all time is the Pen BBS 308. I love the design of it, cartridge converter, it's a very comfortable, well-sized pen for me, and it's just great. I, I love almost every aspect. In fact, I do love every aspect of this Pen BBS 308, but this new Manjazaka uh, pen, which I have bought, is a different level and the main reason that I'm doing this review is to show you guys what this material looks like because it really is quite beautiful so it is your typical pen BBS 308 I mean I've got a pen BBS 308 here in the cloud finish Oop, knocking the tripod there so yeah nicely designed pen and this acrylic, I'm trying to get this to focus, as you can see, it's translucent. It's it's a really unusual effect. Translucent, colourless acrylic with these red, I don't know, red opaque threads swirled into the acrylic. There's no chatoyancy, opalescence, and there's no real depth either um, to this. It's not like the, um, oh, name escapes me now, the, uh, the sort of ribbon effect that you got in the acrylic that was on the um, uh, Moon Man Wankai mini fountain pen. There's no sort of depth to these swirls. Of red it's difficult to focus on to be honest I mean there is a bit but it's not nowhere near as noticeable it's not something that you're going to pick up and say wow look at the depth I mean you, you can see a bit this camera is not great at focusing to show you the depth but I mean it, it is a sort of 3d type effect in there swirled into the acrylic and it's a really nice unusual color acrylic and it's not an acrylic that I've seen in any other fountain pen um, I really really think it's quite unusual so parts of the pen finial yep there is a acrylic matching finial up there you can see the threading inside there and silver band with the clip silver fittings on this pen stiff clip functional clip Cap band says Pen BBS with the logo and I'm trying to figure out what that actually says. I've never even noticed that. I assumed it 256, I believe. Now, this is where the Pen BBS 308 might have borrowed some other components. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. So, slim cigar-shaped barrel that tapers down to the end. Solid end, no finial there. Inside the cap, which, as you notice, unscrews very simply. These threads are smooth, very, very smooth. And the cap takes one turn, one and a half turns thereabouts matching section which looks great I mean this translucent material starts to really show off you know the parts of the pen so it's a sort of what I'd describe as a semi-demonstrator 
and the section is really comfortable. Nice round section, flares out a bit at the bottom and we have got a pen BBS. There we go, focused, fine steel silver coloured nib, plastic feed beneath. And as with all of the pen BBS 308s, the barrel unscrews and it does feel secure and the reason for that being is that these pens come with pen BBS cartridge, um, pen BBS converters, which I always find to be pretty good quality. Down here we have an O-ring and lots of threads and no holes in the barrel. So this is also a pen which is even designed, it's actually been designed to be eyedropped too. And I think that if you chose the right colour ink for this Manjusaka acrylic, that could look really nice inside of the uh, barrel there. And the pen posts, nicely, securely, becomes a little bit long and back weighted, not really a fan of that, but there we go. So let's do a quick comparison with one of my standard fountain pens, a Twisby Eco. About the same sort of length. The pen BBS is a few millimetres longer, capped and uncapped. About the same length. Slightly smaller diameter to the pen BBS 308 than the Twisby Eco. And this is, in my view, you know, nice clip. Nice design pen, nice acrylic. So let's have a look at the writing. Now, I've almost struggled to, uh, to choose an ink to go with this pen because I wasn't really sure what to go with. I mean, I was initially thinking, yep, go with a black ink. I think black would look good, matched to this pen. Um... But I actually didn't have that many black inks that... Uh, well, I had several black inks in use at the moment, so I was struggling to figure out which ink to go for. I didn't want to use a red ink. I thought that might just be a bit too... Yeah. Because I don't tend to write in red unless it's something that I specifically uh, do need to uh, write down in red. So it's not an everyday colour for me. So I actually chose Diamine Scarlet for this pen. So let's do the writing sample now. Check I've got the nib the right way up. Oops. And this is the fine nib, which I, to be honest, haven't tinkered with this nib at all. And this acrylic is called Manjusaka. We'll talk about the nib a little bit more in a moment. Excuse the washing machine in the background. May have to just pause this video in a moment and just um, just turn it off for a minute while I finish recording this video. Now as you can see this nib is I would say medium wetness even to the point where it could even be a little bit on the wet side but you know this is a fine nib and this is keeping up really really well and I've got no issues with the flow on the um, on this nib and feed at all it's really really good. So talking about the nibs Recently, I'll finish this uh, writing sample in a moment. Recently, um, I bought a few pen BBS fountain pens and used a, quite a lot of them over the years. And I often find that the nibs are dry. This one, for a fine especially, is actually quite wet in comparison. Um, and I've usually had to do some very minor nib, adjust uh, nib adjustments 
mainly using brass shims just to floss in between the two tines just to uh, open them up a little bit so that it becomes a wetter writing pen haven't done that at all with this pen this is writing as it is out of the box and i'm not going to touch it it writes perfectly well enough from uh, from my point of view i would almost go to the point to say that this fine nib is medium to fine so it's not as fine as some of the fine nibs that i've had from pen bbs so i think it just happens to be a good writer out of the box so quite lucky from that respect uh, i know some people have had to adjust some of their uh, nibs i know doug rathburn he uh, he mentioned in one of his recent pen reviews that um uh, it was about no uh, might, might even been been on uh, taste the rainbow the pen bbs painting pen page group on facebook um that maybe 90 percent of the pen bbs nibs that he's had he's had to make them wetter to get them to write how he wants them to write um but this nib thankfully unusually for me and pen bbs no issues with it whatsoever and it's smooth in every direction writes perfectly well line variation you can see fine and you can squeeze a little bit more out but it's a stiff nib and you're not getting very much line variation there as for reverse writing because i know many of my viewers use fountain pens for art and drawing and they like to see a bit of reverse writing and this has gone from what i would say medium fine to an extra extra fine but obviously these nibs are all slightly different you're never going to get the, uh, the same thing and i would say that this is actually really really smooth to write with it's not bad i mean it for an extra extra fine reverse writing this isn't remember it's not an extra extra fine nib this is using the nib upside down and it's not bad and it is actually keeping up i mean this pink i know it's coming out quite red here but this is a sort of cerise pink ink um i would say that that looks quite weak but it's still there this co the color is still there there is still enough saturation for this to be you know a good pen to write with upside down so to speak so there we have it review of the pen bbs 308 in the manjusarka acrylic i don't think there are many of these pens available left on the uh, pen bbs official etsy store i will put a link down below um just in case you're you're interested but i'll also put a link to the pen bbs etsy shop anyway so that you can see what else they've got um because their line of pens does change fairly regularly hasn't done in 2020 very much but um it's something that if there's a new acrylic comes out you see it there first and i mentioned before the pen bbs facebook group taste the rainbow taste the rainbow they will monitor um the pen bbs etsy shop and as soon as new things go on there especially if it's a special edition limited production run different acrylic they sell out within minutes basically so i mean i'm i'm not a fan of chasing things for the sake of it um i love these pens but you know i want them to be available <laughs> if you like to the mass market I, I think if they've only got 50 pens and they'll sell out then yes yeah, so be it so there we have it review of this pen with this nice manjusaka acrylic which i really love i think it's very unusual so thank you very much for watching do please hit the subscribe notification bell down below a couple of times because then you'll be notified of when the uh, new um videos get uploaded from my channel and thanks very much for watching and i shall see you next time bye